episode number three. I think. Yeah, three. Um, so, it's been a kind of crazy couple of weeks. I, uh, let's see, I've gotten sick. Kelly's, uh, my fiance's gotten sick. Um, okay, I can't even remember everything that's happened. Oh, my, uh, my computer completely shut down on me. Um, just nothing. Just the, I got some virus that just shut everything down. I couldn't do anything. Couldn't go on the internet or anything. Um, a little bit beyond what I could do to fix it, so I took it into Fry's, um, electronics. Um, they wiped everything. They... Uh, told me a few of the upgrades that I could do that are really easy and cheap. Um, I got, uh, I got, um, uh, some malware protection that I didn't have before. Um, and then I got this, uh, new SATA cable card. Um, because that was the one thing I didn't like about the motherboard that I currently have is I only have, uh, two or no, four SATA ports. And now that was great for when I wasn't using my, or when I wasn't upgrading my computer because I only had two disk drives and two hard drives in there. So now my problem that I'm running into is that I'm starting to upgrade my computer, put more hard drives in it, um, put, you know, more stuff in it. And I'm running into the problem of my current motherboard is lacking a lot. Um, once I put everything into the new case, um, that port on top of my case, I, uh, I'll do, I'll probably do a video of that. Hopefully. All right. I've done this video like four times. See how um, fast I can talk. 3.0s, 2.0s, hard drive in here, no, port on top of power my fan control, to drop a hard drive in, so Epic fan, stuff off an old blue hard drive. LED, red LED, well, done, yeah. Unfortunately, you have to run SATA cables for that. I also have an eSATA port on top. I'll be honest, I don't know what that does, but I have it. So, in order to use that, I need another... In order to use those two things, I needed another two SATA ports. Um, so I, I got that card for it, which gave me an, another four, which was nice. It was uh, one too expensive, um, but uh, yeah. Once I got my computer back from Fry's after they uh, redid the. Um, he, uh, the virus and everything for it, they, I, uh, oh God. Sorry. Kind of spaced out there for a second. I, uh, once I got back from them, I, I hooked everything up because I actually had changed my, uh, office area of my basement around a little bit because I didn't have a computer, I didn't have anything else to do. So I changed everything around. Now my computer's against a different wall. Um, I've, there's been little bits of the videos where uh, you can kind of see behind me and you can see there's a different wall behind me. I now have actually my printer and scanner and everything behind me, which is nice for uh, a whole nother project I'm doing, which is scanning in a bunch of pictures. And that's stack three of three. I've uh, that's basically what I did this weekend. Um, was I scanned picture after picture after picture after picture, and yeah, I'm tired of scanning pictures, and that's what I have left, um, unfortunately. And then on top of that, I have twelve rolls of film that I haven't gotten developed, and. Now I need to get them developed, so that's a whole nother problem. Oh man, um, but yeah, so I got my computer back and the uh, processor fan was making this horrific buzzing noise 
I like I couldn't stand having it next to me. Like it would just be a constant buzzing noise, and it's because the fan that I got was a really cheap fan. I paid, God, I paid fifteen bucks for it, maybe, and that was a couple of years ago. My old processor fan decided to die, um, so it would it was a horrible fan. And then, so I went to Fry's, and I'm like, I need a new fan, and they gave me this just monstrous fan it it took over almost my entire inside of my case um it had like a 120 millimeter fan on it it was just this giant thing and there had to have been a better way to to cool my computer without that massive fan because the window that i have in the side of my computer is you know tiny and that would take over the whole window and um i just i didn't want to deal with it um and i honestly for the motherboard that i have currently and my current plan is to upgrade my motherboard i, I you know i need to save up some money and get the motherboard that i want which means i have to get the processor you know motherboard processor because i'm, I'm going to switch away from my amd stuff i'm going to go to intel um so I, I need a motherboard, a processor, and I'm going to try to get a motherboard that works the current RAM that I have to save some money on this initial part. Because I have DDR3 RAM, and so I'm just going to take my 8 gigabytes that I have here, put that into my new computer, uh, or the new hard drive, or motherboard, and uh, deal with it that way. Just for now. Um, I will upgrade that at some point i don't know when but this fan was just it was enormous it was the the, it, the fan you know 120 millimeter fan that's you know pretty good size fan for the processor the 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 radiator was just the radiator is what was uh took up most of the space and i didn't really re i didn't want to uh replace all the the mounting brackets and all that kind of stuff i didn't want to take the time to do that i just I had a, pro a couple of projects that I was working on, and I just wanted to plug that shit in and go. That's all I wanted to do. I don't want to deal with this uh, motherboard right now. I want to get a better motherboard and go from there. Um, so I, I, I went back and forth from Fry's three or four times because they kept giving me these different ones, and it kept, you know, like, one of them, the mounting brackets were not in the right position. They didn't have another one of those, so... I started looking at, you know, maybe doing liquid cool, but I didn't want to spend the money on it until I put the new motherboard in, the new processor, and then I'll work on liquid cooling and some kind of, I'll be honest, he was kind of a dumb guy. I don't know much about computers, about building them and the hardware and stuff, but this guy was like, oh, there's not much of a difference between water cooling and air cooling. In my computer, I run air cooling, and it's only... And I've tried water cooling it, and there's only a two degree difference. I'm like, in my own head, I'm just kind of like, then you're doing something wrong. Because that's not what I've heard. Um, so, I don't know. I just kind of said, fuck it. And uh, I got this just really weird fan i guess it's a low profile japanese or korean or some kind of fan just out there never seen you know it, it's nice and low profile i really like it and uh i'll take a picture of it or something like that and put it in like right here or something like that and then but it was just this just i didn't like it i didn't like the fan it or i no I didn't like the old fan. I like this fan. It, it it's so quiet. It's it's so nice. It's I was like the the clips on it just plugged into each side. I didn't have to run like a, a the two bars through to clamp it down. There's just these two little clips on each side. One plugs into this side. One plugs into that side. You clip it onto each side or each clip on the mother, motherboard and snap them shut so it goes down on there. And it worked perfectly. Um, yeah, you know, I love it. I it's uh, it looks nice in it. I don't know. I just uh, it's quiet. It's working for what I need. 
And hey, if it works for another, you know, year or something like that, um, if I decide to put it on my new uh, motherboard until I get liquid cooling, um, that's great. Uh, if not, oh well. But uh, other than that, let's see, what else? Uh, unfortunately, my fiance's grandma's not doing well, and I'm, you know, worried about her and everything. And uh... oh yeah, and then um, I started when I when I didn't have my computer, I just started to do wiring. I'm sorry for the bouncy camera; it's attached to a mount on my desk, and my desk shakes when I bump it. Um, so. When I started doing the wiring and everything for my uh, my computer, when I didn't have it, um, there's a, uh, a a video uh, Barnacles did uh, that I was really a fan of, and it just gave me great ideas. That he mounted he mounted uh, stuff to the bottom of his desk using hot glue. Well, he has. You know, he did like a card reader, he did uh, USB stuff, and a couple other things that um, are useful for him. And you know what? Honestly, I, I, I liked the idea, so I, I did the same thing. I, I have had a hot glue gun for a long time. I have a lot of hot glue because that's for a whole other project that I have uh, actually up there. Um, and so I really liked the idea, so I decided, hey, I'll try it. Um, so now i have a bunch of stuff hot glued to the bottom of my desk and unfortunately i did something stupid um hold on something came up my oh yes my battery is critically low fun oh well make this fast so i hot glued a bunch of stuff to the bottom of my desk and um the the, the thing i did stupid uh I had everything going, let's see, I have one, two, three, four different USB hubs under my desk. Now granted, yes, I know that's a lot, and four with four on it. Now they all have different purposes. My TARDIS has all my little wireless doggles on it, so I have like my Fitbit, my two, I have, and then I have two wireless keyboards. My, uh, I have this mount thing for my desk. Uh, it has like business cards, post-its, pens, and it's got a couple of USB things in the side of it. It actually has a, a little stand that you can clip a piece of paper to. Um, if you're typing something, you know, you, you just look at it and type and, you know, whatever. It, it's cool. Um, so I got those two. Those are on top of my desk. Now it's kind of overkill now that I have, you know, so that's, let's see, my TARDIS has four, my mount thing which also has a card reader built into it um which i don't like it doesn't work very well so that okay four usbs three more on the on the organizer thing and then one of the things i got i put it over here is i have another card reader which is um it, it's a powered not really a powered but i can turn on and off each usb if i want to and that's got four, and then I have um, a powered card reader underneath the desk that's running a couple of things, um, and that's got four in it, and then all of that is running to one non-powered USB hub under my desk over here, and that one plug is being plugged into the computer. Now... <laughs> I think I shorted it out. I had it for like three or four days, and I think I just, I think I shorted it out. I think because, like, a, maybe a day into using it, I, I, my keep, my keep. Oh, and I'm on top of that. So my keyboard and my mouse were plugged into it. Now I got a, you know, I got a full keyboard with, you know, eight. Let's see, I got 18G. Uh, uh, programmable G buttons, and it, you know. I got this huge keyboard, I got the mouse, I got my Zune uh, dock plugged into it, I got uh, I have a USB fan plugged into it that I keep on my desk, and then I have uh, 
<laughs> I have my little turret. I have, I have a little turret I got from uh, thinkgeek.com. And uh, I don't know, just uh, I have this all running through, basically going into my computer through one USB. Needless to say, that didn't work because I think I overpowered the little hub that I have. So I'm going to have to buy another USB hub powered one. And unfortunately, I can't return the one that I have because, well, I hot glued it to the bottom of my desk. I can take it off, but I think I voided the warranty by sticking hot glue on it. Oops. See if it works for something else, because uh, I I just think I have too much information, too much going through it. Um, let's see. Other than that, there's not really anything else going on. Just you know, I'm worried about my fiance because of her grandma. Um, I haven't really been gaming that much. It's, it's been you know kind of one thing after another. Uh, threw my back out at work the other day. Um, luckily, it's feeling a lot better now, but. Uh, yeah, other than that, you know, I there's not really much else going on, but, uh, that's about it. Um, townhouse is almost done. Uh, probably get another video of that. It'll probably be my next video. Um, if I don't put another one up of, like, a tour of my computer case or, um, I, I did a couple of unboxings that I just haven't edited yet, um. Uh, they're, they're for swords and I uh, they, I think I did a nerd block unboxing and well I never got to uh, actually um, putting the video together because I was having a problem with my video editing program because I wasn't able to take a video and you know say it's a 17 minute video like this is right now and say hey I don't want this whole 17 minutes of one video I want to take it and cut it into two you know eight you know an eight minute video and, and a nine minute video or whatever you know I, I want to be able to cut it and the pro program that I have won't let me do that um, I don't know why but it won't and I have another program on my computer that can do that but I have to buy the full version otherwise I can only do three minute sections and the whole version is something like 60 bucks. And I don't want to pay that much for being able to chop up a video. But then again, I might have to. If I want to chop up a video. Otherwise, I have to do everything in one take. And yeah, that's a pain in the ass. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it. Otherwise, I'll just keep talking and talking and talking because, well, basically, I live in a basement right now and don't have anyone to talk to. Lonely. Not really. I got a lot of friends. I was able to hang out with one of my friends. We went out to my storage unit today, and here I go keep rambling again. Uh, we went out to my storage unit because, well, because I'm moving soon, I decide, hey, I should probably pack up some of that stuff because for about a year I was using my storage unit as, like, a garage. Because I was going out to this lumber mill that I used to work at, hang out at, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it was right next to the, the lumber mill. And the lumber mills and my storage units 45 miles away from my house. So I had to go kind of start packing stuff up, getting it ready for my move. And just, it was too... So my uh, camera died. Well, it's probably good because it's the end of the, basically the end of the video. I'm just going to put this little piece at the end of it. Um, till next time, peace out. I, don't, I know that was the rock on, but you know what? Rock on and peace out. Adios. I said stop recording.